Hey, all you little stumpsters, what are you doing? I, uh, I still didn't get it out. Uh, we dug all around it. Um, the 160, the other 160 is just, you know, I mean, you're dealing with equal weight. You know, they're both 16 metric ton. Um, you know, the ones in like this, it's, it just, it ain't working too good. But I got the tracks straight now. I dug around them. We got the boom gantry facing forward, you know, the boom facing forward. Um, we, we hooked up to it with the big machine, the shovel, which is basically a 35 ton, 37 ton machine. Um, I think we can get it with that, but what's going on with that is we hooked the chain through the bucket, the grapple, and what it's doing is it's overpowering the reliefs on the grapples, right? So it just starts to pull and start to move and the chain, the grapple just opens because it's, you know, going over relief. It's designed to do that so it doesn't tear something off. So what I just did is I went and uh, they didn't have it. They're going to make it. They're going to have it at 7 a.m. by 7 a.m. in the morning. A one-inch uh, pull cable with eyelets on either end. And we're going to do that and a couple big shackles. And we're going to hook it up that way. And I'm going to hook it directly to the boom because uh, I didn't have enough chain, heavy chain. Got 3H chain, which didn't break that, but I didn't have enough long heavy chain to go. Like I got to get past the bucket, in other words. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna clamp the bucket to the heel, roll the heel out, and I'm gonna put a, I'm gonna put one section of heavy chain around that with a shackle, and then shackle that to the D ring on the cable, the eye on the cable, and that 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 cable is. Uh, rated for um, anyway the cable is rated for like 51 tons so you ain't gonna break the cable so I went and bought that and the shackles and the stuff that I need to do this but it is absolutely pouring out here it's a cold miserable rain with ice mixed in we're also, we're all, we actually went to get the cable stuff at about 2 o'clock. Took the boys out to get lunch. We got a hot lunch. And, um, because it's just miserable. We're all covered in mud. So, so we were going to go back. And, um, I ended up having to go back and get the, we, we piled in my truck. We went back, got the other service truck and closed the gate and stuff. And we just kind of called and quits. Go down tomorrow. I mean, this has really turned into a fiasco. I mean, I might as well literally just light a match to about $15,000. That's what it's going to cost me by the time I figure my lost time and paying everybody and the fees to do it. It's just, it's, it's insanity. But well, whatever. It's just the way life goes, you know. You just got to roll with it, baby. Huh? So it's pretty discouraging, but then again, I'm trying not to go nuts. But no biggie, we'll get it. It's just, but. Anyway, I think I can pull it with this cable, you know? Because a big machine, it's got a lot of power. So we're going to try that. If that doesn't work, I don't know what. Uh, I might have to hire somebody with a big dose or like an eight or something to come down and get it. Because I don't think, I was thinking about digging it out behind it. But I, honest to God, I don't know how. That, 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 that much could be 30, 40 feet deep. I don't know. I, I have no idea. I know what it is. I figured out what it is. It's a high wall, you know, that was backfilled. And the road, the little tram road you see us on, is solid ledge. I mean, it's ledge. You scrape the mud off it, it's rock. And then just over where I went over, it's the rock's gone. It must have been blasted out, dug out. And it's literally a high wall. It's like this. And what I did is I teetered off of that and went right into the soup, right into this primordial ooze that I don't know how deep it is. It, it could be, you know, that whole valley, it could be 40, 50 feet down there to the bottom where the coal seam was. I have no idea. So it's getting to the point where it's pretty desperate. I got to get it out of there. I didn't dig behind it anymore because it's settling down the hill and at least that big mud bank will hold it. Uh, it's actually in deeper and farther down. So. If I don't get it 
and here pretty shortly it's just going to be a loss because it'll flood the engine and uh because it's all water coming in behind it so whatever i might i don't know i lose it just call the insurance company i don't know i i can't believe this i literally can't believe that just going over a bank that i do a million times has created this much agony so it's really bizarre but it must be, I must have went right over where there's like an underground river or something. Because just to the left of it, I went down in there with the other excavator. Marv was yelling at me, don't get that stuck. I said, well, you know, at least the other machine, if I, you know, I just got it stuck a little, you can get it out with the bucket and stuff. Well, that's another thing. We're going to put the bucket back on Kimmy, too, in the morning. Because I got it up where I can, I got to get rid of that stupid dangly cut head, you know, because you can't put it, you can't pick yourself up a little bit, it just flops over. So, I'll put the bucket back on it, and uh, that way I can, I'll pull myself out too. So, well, I'm mean, gonna get it. I just, I never dreamed it would be this hard to get this thing out, so, anyway. Oh, I wanted to thank this girl too, that, that, uh, that was commenting on the channel. Um, Jessica, is it Jessica Lutz, I think? I don't know, but she's a real sweetheart. I, I really, I just really appreciate her loving comments. I think she may be a member of the peace-loving, tolerant left. Um, but she's come up with some brilliant philosophy. Holy cow, I just beat you? Just brilliant, uh, you know, comment. It's very deep, deep, deep uh, philosophical thought that's going on in her little skull full of mush. Thank you, Jessica. Thank you. Very classy of you, and we really appreciate you here. So, you know, maybe you could come up with some swear words or something, and, you know, instead of just you suck. But that's okay. You've really impressed us all. So, anybody want to comment back to her and tell her how much we love her? Yeah, go ahead. Obviously, she's got the intellect of a small insect. Oh, did I say that out loud? Oh, I'm sorry. But anyway, okay, guys. So. The drama continues. Let's see if we can get this thing out. I'll, uh, I'll talk to you soon. Ta-ta, y'all.